the God who created the world and everything in it, the one who is preeminent over all creation, takes on a human nature so that he can redeem sinners. From a theological perspective, what happens here is that the first Adam falls into sin and all we in him fall because he is our federal head. And the last Adam, Jesus Christ, keeps the law and is completely and utterly righteous, whereas the first Adam was not. And because of that, he presents himself as the federal head to all of those who place their faith in him so that we might find life in him. And as our federal head, Christ keeps the law on our behalf so that his righteousness can be imputed to us and dies the death that we owe so that our sinfulness can be imputed to him. And Paul takes all of that and puts it into this phrase, making peace by the blood of his cross. Why does this matter? Why is it important that we believe that Jesus is not just a good man and a good teacher? Why is it important that we don't just join the rest of the world and say, we'll take the parts of Jesus that we like, but, but, but the rest of it, the parts that confound us, the parts that, that, that are hard for us to embrace, those parts will leave. Because if he is not God, our creator, then he cannot be man, our redeemer.